Time now for Monday afternoon quarterback and CBS 4 sports anchor Jim Barry is here. And Jim, <laughs> how about those Dolphins? One of the best games I have seen in a long time by That's the Miami true. Dolphins. And Brock Osweiler, he's under quarterback? Well, you know what? He was the new, he's the new quarterback for right now because he is the healthy quarterback right now. And I will say this. I think Brock Osweiler is the best thing to happen to Ryan Tannehill in a mighty long time. And I say that because I think he could be the guy to push Tannehill to really step on the gas and prove that he still should be the guy. Yesterday, though, Osweiler was fantastic. Look, the ball was right where it needed to be time and again. He did throw a couple of interceptions, but it was obvious he had total command of this offense. It was smooth. On third down, it was much better. He got the ball in the hands of the playmakers. The ball came out of his hands quickly. Everything that you want to see more from Ryan Tannehill, Brock Osweiler did yesterday, and that's why with those three TD passes at 380 yards uh, downfield, you have to say give him an A+. Plus. Also, a great job by that offensive line. Yeah. What do you think was the difference in this game compared to what we've seen in the past? Well, you talk about the offensive line, yeah. and certainly that was a key, but we saw how they really just disintegrated against Cincinnati the week before. I think the big thing was that this week the Dolphins didn't dwell on their mistakes. They did turn the ball over three times, but they were not fatal mistakes. This certainly could have been as Kenyon Drake fumbles at the goal line in overtime right when it appeared the Dolphins had this thing in the bag. Honestly, they could have and probably should have lost the game after that, but Kenyon Drake was concerned sold by his teammates. There's Tannehill even saying, man, you're going to get another chance. And he did. The Dolphins never quit yesterday. Drake here gets a chance to help the Dolphins move into field goal range to finally put the game away with a winning field goal kick by Jason Sanders. And that's what a winning team does. It never gets down. They didn't yesterday, and that's why they won. It was